Hey, hey, howdy, happy day, cowboy talk. I've got to stop it one of these days, graduate to something else, I don't know what, spaceman talk maybe, but I do have a little bit of wiser advisor stuff for all you men. Treat a woman like a registered racehorse and she will never be an egg. Sounds silly, but hey, some truth there. California, you know, this is kind of disturbing to me and to many other people. Scott Peterson, he was convicted murdering his wife uh, many years ago, probably 15 years ago. I remember it well. I was in California and I watched this unfold on television. It was a big story, right? And, and he was charged for two murders, but yet she was pregnant, eight months pregnant, but there's only one person, according to the Democrats. That's how they swing in California. They say, hey, you know what? An unborn baby is not a person. So how come you got charged for two murders? That's a bloody mystery to me. I don't get it. But that's what happened. He was charged for two murders. These hypocrites, right? So now they've overturned the death penalty. Why? I mean, and 15 years later, we're still talking about this. He should have been hung 14 years ago, you know, give him a chance for an appeal, give him a fair trial and hang him. Oh, is that kind of what you do? Well, you know, uh, these are the same people, these Democrats, not just in California, everywhere, the liberals th that, that say trust us with the security of your children and your economic future because we know better than anybody else. We're smarter than you. You're not dumb. You're dumb. We need to think for you and look after you and protect you from yourself. You're not safe. Now, though, wherever you live in, in America, if you're in a Democrat city, I mean, these are radical people, right? The Democrats have brought nothing but destruction. We must reelect Donald Trump. We must. This thing is crazy. It's just totally out of control. New York now, the university, you have students there who are saying, white students who are saying, we have black students in our predominantly white university that don't feel good. They feel threatened, so, so we want to have a place for them to be by themselves. It's called segregation. These are the same people that used to say segregation is bad, and now they're saying let's have segregation because, you know, people are sad and unhappy. I, I doubt that that's even accurate or true, but again, they're liberal, and they feel like they always have to be doing something, right? Lots of activity and little achievement. They're, they're busy doing just stirring the pot, because I mean, that is stirring the pot. I, I mean, why? Segregation, all of a sudden it's a good thing? Talk about going full circle. I was with a fellow the other day who's a black guy, he's a good friend of mine, and, and he was uh, talking about different things, and he referred to me as Caucasian. I said to him, I said, you know what, I've heard you say that before, and I take uh, you know, exception, I take exception, new language, to that. I'm not Caucasian, I'm white. I've always been white and I think I'll always be white. And he looked at me strangely and he says, you're Caucasian. I said, I'm not. He said, but Caucasian means white. And I said, look it up. And he did. And here it is right here. The Caucasian race is a grouping of humans historically regarded as populations from Europe, Western Asia, Central Asia, South Asia, North Africa, and the Horn of Africa. It's got nothing to do with the color. My color is white. Leave me alone. Everybody else changes all the time. And I told my friend, I said, what are you today? I think today you're an African American and your family's been here for over 200 years. It used to be Negro, it used to be colored, it used to be this, it used to be that. You guys are changing always. I've always been white Brian. Ah, that's good for me. So we got quite a laugh out of it, he and I, and he was going to go tell all of his friends. I mean, Google is your friend occasionally, Caucasian race. Oh boy, who would have thunk it? Uh, firefighters. About two dozen of them recently came out to my little town that I have. Doesn't everybody own it down? And they had a blast. They were having fun and, and they're first responders and these guys are great guys. And mostly they're right wing. Their union isn't, but that's another day, another story. But here's a picture I wanted to share with you that is so neat. One of the firefighters, he put a, I have a jail on my place. Why not? And, and he took a picture or had a picture on his phone of the prime mistake of Canada, Justin Trudeau, and he held it inside the jail. And of course, that is where he belongs. Ah, pretty neat stuff. That should go viral, shouldn't it? Because the truth is a great thing. Lastly, today, I was given a book for my birthday, August 10th, and it says, All the President's Women and Donald Trump, the making of a predator. <laughs> and I, I read a bit of it, you know, but not a bunch of it, because you gotta really drill on this thing, drill down. Firstly, he's not a predator. A womanizer, I guess, 
But if you're with a woman, because you're a womanizer, is she not a manizer? <laughs> it would seem to me that you kind of have to have two to play. So if you don't like the way he lives, his lifestyle, that's one thing. But to write a book and call him a predator, which has all kinds of other meanings, that's not good. He didn't rape anybody. I mean, the guy has girlfriends. I mean, go back into history and most great men had great love lives. Many people had two or three wives. I, I mean... We don't approve necessarily, but that's kind of the way of the world, right? John Kennedy and so on. I mean, the list can go on. So, so what do we do? Uh, another cancel culture thing? I mean, we don't approve. Again, I say it, I say it. You don't have to approve, but to write a book and call them all those things? I mean, clearly, they ain't Republican. Just saying. And by the way, my friend, thanks for the book, <laughs> I, I guess. See ya.